Sir, is it okay now? Is this mean? Is this the one? Visible, ma'am. Please start, ma'am. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. So, good evening, participants. Let me start today's uh, session. So, uh, fourth unit that is essential for understanding cyber security. The topic we are going to uh, see in today's session is breaches, threats, attacks, exploits, and others. Okay. So coming on to the objective of the today's session, to make you know about the cyber security breaches, threats, attacks, exploits, and others. Okay. The outcome of the session is that the students may be able to understand the cyber security breaches, threats, attacks, exploits, and others. Okay, so the outline of today's session that we are going to see is uh, what is like data breach and what are the causes of data breaches. And under the causes of data breaches, there are uh, five causes are there. The first one is weak passwords, using of weak, weak passwords, and uh, malware, software, uh, insider threats, and the physical attacks. So these are the five causes of uh, data breaches that we are going to see. And uh, coming to the next one is, uh, what are the top 10 breaches uh, that is facing for all the time that we are going to see? Then uh, what are the strategies uh, for the data breach securities over there? And we'll be seeing about the cyber security threats. So what is meant by cyber security threats? And what are the types of cyber security threats? Okay. So this was the agenda for today's session. Okay. So what is meant by data breach? Okay. So it is the intentional or unintentional release of secured or private or confidential uh, information to an unknown and trusted environment. That is called data breaches. So in order to define this, so it is nothing but a security incident where uh, the information is accessed, stolen, and used by a cyber criminal without the knowledge or authorization of a systems owner. So data breach is that someone is going to steal your information without the knowledge of the owner's authorization. That is called as data breach. Okay, so the breach can be, data breach can be of type uh, uh, device theft or device loss, document errors, uh, weak uh, credentials, using of weak credentials or stolen credentials, weak and stolen credentials, internet spyware, then vulnerable system. Vulnerable means uh, weakness. Okay, so weakness uh, found in the system and applications. So these are all called as data breach. And uh, it can also say that the common uh, data breach means it is uh, exposes, which includes uh, personal information such as credit card numbers, uh, healthcare histories, social security numbers. So these are all the information which are revealed or the data is Test. Information is tested from the owners, owner of the user. That is called as data breach. 
So in other words, we can uh, define the data breach as it exposes the confidential information or sensitive information or protected information to an unauthorized person. So something is going to be revealed to the unauthorized person. Something in the then the uh, thing is that secured or confidential information is released to the unauthorized person. That is called as data breach. Okay. So, for example, you can go, uh, for example, if you are having a files, a data files with you in the system. So, the files in the data breach uh, can be viewed or it can be shared without the permission of the user of the file. That is called as data breach. Okay. Okay. Insider person. So insider person means data leaked by company employee or any family member. So in in order to define this insider person, uh, it's an accidental insider. Okay. So the data leak uh, maybe happened by a company employee or any family members. Okay, so for example, we can take it as an employee, uh, some employee using a, a co-worker's computer and reading all the files without having proper authorization permission. So they are going to access uh, without the knowledge of the uh, owner's, uh, system's owners, they are going to access the files. So the access of information may be in an uh, unintentional way or no information is shared. So, however, it was viewed by an unauthorized person. So, we consider this as a, the data is considered as a breach. Okay. So, coming on to the next one, payment card fraud. So, payment card is stolen. So, what is the payment card? It may be a ATM card or a, what are the information in the ATM card can be cracked with the skimming devices. So, what is in the skimming device? It's a piece of equipment where the fraud people attach over the card readers at the ATMs. So they will be using this uh, skimming device in the ATM machine as a card reader at the ATM machine. It's a self-service. So or it can be a self-service payment kiosk. It can be used at the payment kiosk, at the gas pumps or other uh, point of sale equipment. Okay, so ATM skimmers are fraud devices. So they are uh, made to be placed over the top of the cash machines in the ATM. Uh, okay, cash machines. The cash machines card acceptance slot. So where we are going to insert the card, ATM card. So at that place, they will be placed over that uh, cash machine card acceptance slot using usually secured to the ATM with a glue. So this was happening uh, in many places, we, so we have to be very careful uh, uh, in using the ATM cards, okay? And uh, coming on to the human mistake, uh, thorough mistake, true mistake and sensitive data is exposed. Okay. So next uh, we will see the causes, what are the causes of data breaches? So data breaches means whatever the uh, data or secure confidential information that is revealed to the unauthorized person, that is data breaches that we have seen uh, in the previous uh, slides. So the first cause is weak password, using of weak passwords. So it is most common cause of data students. When you use a weak password or you will be going for a uh, lost year if you are a uh, uh, lost your password or uh, if you have used, if you have might have used a weak password, some uh, data will be lost. Okay, the hackers uh, will attack easily and track your data. So the simple solution is that to use a complex uh, password, that is it should be, the password should be a strong one so that uh, no one can uh, try to uh, find it difficult to track it. In such a way, the password should be there. Okay. Okay, next, uh, the cause is backdoors. So backdoor, the application which is very uh, low level or poorly implanted. So hackers always love attack this type of applications because this type of application always leave a hole for the hacker. Okay. So what does mean by a backdoor? So backdoor in the sense, you are having uh, so usually in uh, 
house we are having the front door so what is the meaning of back door is the other way you are having to leave or to go that is back door okay so this is the normal sense okay so back door means uh, uh, to access a computer system or encrypted data that bypasses the security mechanism systems uh, security mechanism that is called as back door okay so back door is a way to access the uh, computer system which bypass the whatever the uh, system security mechanism so it, it can go by bypasses it. okay so back door can also be installed by a software or hardware makers as a deliberate means of gaining access to their technology after the fact okay so back doors of the non criminal variety are useful for helping the customers who are uh, hopelessly locked out of their devices so some uh, users may be getting the problem of uh, all the devices uh, that were uh, gone into lock okay so for that uh, purpose we can uh, use the uh, back doors or it can be back doors can be used for trouble shooting purpose or it can be used for resolving some software issues so these are the cause back doors are the cause of data breach okay the third uh, cause is malware so malware is a malicious software attack and it's the type of virus that mostly hackers will be using this uh, software program which will make the hacker able to access the uh, system so mostly it will be attached with the emails and uh, websites local websites so in other words uh, uh, in uh, more deep into if you get deep into the malware attack is that uh, when uh, cyber criminals create their malicious software that will installed on someone else device without their knowledge to gain access to their uh, personal information or to damage the system or device so these all will be done for uh, usually for a financial gain okay so the different types of malware that we have uh, uh, seen now that includes viruses spyware ransomware and trojan horses these are some of the uh, examples for malware attacks okay the fourth one is insider threats so insider threats is that uh, when you give too many permissions to employees to access any data then uh, there will be a chance to leak out your uh, data confidential data so that is called as insider threats okay and what is meant by physical attack means so in person uh the hackers will go and uh, stole the data physical attack means somebody will go and stole your data or someone approach uh, approach or a physical presence they will be going and physical attack your uh, system in the sense that they will go and uh, use the particular uh, system without the knowledge of uh, someone and uh, they will get into the system they will uh, uh copy all the data whatever inside the system resources they will be copying all the resources in a pen drive or something like that that is called as physical attack and get all your information from the system okay okay so here you can clearly see uh uh what are the percentages of uh, each and every process so for ha- hacking uh, it uh, rises up to 47 and for malware 30 30 percentage sorry for hacking 49 percentage it reached up to 49 percentage and uh, error 17 percentage uh, social attacks 11 percentage physical attack 9 percentage so among these uh, causes so hacking is uh, getting the highest uh, percentage okay so we'll see uh, some of the top data breaches that is occurring in all the times okay so there are uh, the top uh, data breaches are instagram yahoo and facebook okay 
So, what is Instagram is the one of the most uh, social sites around the world. About 1 million people are using this uh, social site. Okay. And it was the attack in the year uh, 2017 that uh, 6 million user uh, data was breaches. So, in, uh, this includes uh, email, phone number, addresses and other personal details also. It was hacked. Okay. So the next uh, top uh, data breach is Yahoo. So it is an internet service uh, company, Yahoo company. So that provides the web browser. So the breach was occurred in the year uh, 2013. And it was discovered in the end of 2016. So it was the biggest uh, breach in Yahoo history. And there were uh, uh, around uh, about 1 billion people uh, data that uh, includes password and other details there. Eh? been uh, released or it has been revealed okay and uh, the next uh, top breach is uh, facebook so it is the world largest uh, social site so everyone knows about the functionality of facebook and in this site there are billions of people who are registered and they are get uh, connected in this uh, facebook and in the year 2018 the facebook has got hacked and uh, eight 187 million people data, people's data got breached. So that uh, the people's data were, have been uh, stolen. That is called stolen or revealed or it is uh, released to the internet. That is called as a data breach. Okay. Okay. So next uh, we will see what are the strategies to be followed. Uh, in order to make the data breach in a secure manner. So the first strategy is that uh, reconnaissance, reconnaissance, that is getting the complete training to the staff members or the employee members to fill the gap. So that is using the security awareness. So what are the security measures to be followed or the security uh, tips or uh, the trainings employees should be given some uh, awareness about the security, cyber security. Okay, the training should be given okay, to make the employees aware of ev everything. Okay, the second uh, strategy is email or uh, email attack or malware attack. So that is uh, installing the antivirus software and uh, regularly the user has to update the antivirus software, don't uh, Open the emails. If the email is coming from the unknown sender, kindly don't open the emails. Okay, so give the basic uh, security training to every database handlers, that is employees. Okay, that is very much, uh, very much important. Okay, and the third uh, strategy is to prevent, uh, prevent to use the same password for uh, different accounts. That's the main thing. So do not use the same password for every login. Every login in the sense, uh, you may log into your banking uh, login. So for that, you have to uh, set a new password. And if you are going for uh, employment, then for that, you have to use a different password. So for different accounts, you have to maintain a different password. That's the main thing. Okay. Uh, because if there uh, one password is hacked by the hacker, that is hacked in the sense if, uh, if, if the password is encrypted by the hacker, then there should be uh, there there may be a chance of uh, to harm other uh, or to re get revealed of other uh, passwords also if the uh, user is using the same password for every account. So it should be avoided. Okay. So the fourth strategy is data stolen case. So in case of data stolen, then uh, they have to quickly respond to the customers to change their password. So whenever the data is stolen, so immediately the customer has to be given some uh, alert messages in order to uh, rechange or uh, change the passwords. Okay, and always they have to use the clone devices, clone devices uh, to store the data on it. So they have to uh, take a backup of the data. 
okay once the uh, uh, current system is getting infected or crashed so before the crashing you might have taken the backup of, uh, of your files that is very much important and uh, the next strategy is use employee credentials that is wherever you go you can uh, stick on to your uh, employees uh, credentials okay rather than your personal uh, uh, ids you can go with the employees okay so just allow the access from people access to the portal for uh, for this use the employee credentials so that uh, others would not access the portal data they won't go and access the uh, any organization data base in a, like that okay okay so this what about the data breach we have seen uh, we have seen what is the definition for data breach and what are the causes of data breach we have seen then what are the strategies to be followed for the data breach security so coming on to the next one threats cyber security threats so cyber security is an offensive action that targets the computer networks or a personal uh, devices or professional devices so by using various methods to uh, steal the data or destroy the data or uh, damage the data so that is all called as threats so so threat okay so we are going to see the types of cyber security threats the first threat is malware phishing Uh, man in the middle denial of service attacks spl injection attack cross site scripting attack ransomware attack password attack trojan host attack drive by download attack so these are some of the types of cyber security threats so we'll see one by one okay so what is meant by malware so malware is a malicious software so from the word malicious software the malware is uh, coined okay it is considered as a software that deliberately developed to disrupt so disrupt means to damage okay or uh, in other words we can say to interrupt to make a break to make a damage the computer systems servers or other computer networks that is the main uh, Uh, intention of the malware software okay so it blocks the access to key components uh, that are used in the uh, computer system and uh, it will be installed uh, installed uh, that will harm the software and it will also steal some valuable information some confidential information from your system and it can also cause damage to the hardware components also okay so what is uh, malware attack means is when um, cyber criminals create the malicious software so that will be installed on someone else uh, device or someone else computer system so it's not a malicious software that is installed on a someone's device without their knowledge to gain access in order to gain the access to the personal information or to damage the device usually they will do all these such attacks for the financial gain okay so next threat is phishing so phishing is a, a form of social engineering so mainly it is used to steal the data such as the credit card numbers Uh, credentials for logging in so mainly phishing is uh, done for a uh, financial benefit so whatever the thing is there it uh, phishing attack was done to steal the financial information from the users so financial information mean uh, their bank account details okay uh, their username passwords uh, in order to get into their uh, account details okay so phishing is a method of trying to gather the personal information using uh, deceptive emails 
So defective means misleading emails and websites. Okay, uh, that the thing is that uh, uh, it will create a such a like experience in the appearance of the uh, appearance or impression of the uh, different uh, which uh, which shows different from the uh, true website. So it gives a false appearance, makes the user to predict that it was a true website. Okay, so but it is a fraudulent attempt to obtain the uh, sensitive information or data such as username, passwords, and credit card details by taking uh, uh, by faking oneself, faking in the sense by uh, cheating oneself uh, once in order to create a fake uh, websites or uh, fake sites, uh, making it like a trustless. Trustworthy entity and electronic communications. So, so this all was uh, carried out by email spoofing or uh, instant messaging. Okay, so this often uh, direct the user. This phishing attack will direct the user to the uh, enter the personal information uh, at a fake website. So it will give the the user will be getting a fake website. So in that, the user will be giving their own personal information, so which matches the look and feel of the legitimate site. That that means that the fake website is looking like a true website. So in, uh, the phishing attack will give the such a like uh, experience or appearance to the users users of the website. Okay? So phishing is an uh, example of social engineering techniques to deceive the users. That is to in order to cheat the users. Okay, that is uh, phishing activity. Uh, so phishing attack. So it takes the fraudulent action uh, to cheat the users, and it also steals the uh, confidential or private information from the users. Okay. So next uh, comes the man in the middle uh, threat. Okay. So in short, we can call this uh, threat as a M I T M. Okay. So the invader can modify the chats and dialogues between the two individuals who actively participate in the communication. So in this picture, you can see uh, someone is uh, interacting with the other people, and uh, the intruder is going to um, take part in this. So intruder may be a third party or a hacker. It is said like this. So interference from the third party. They will what they will do. So whatever the chat is going on between the two persons, they will go and uh, change the contents of the chat. Okay. So man in the middle is an attack where the attacker secretly relays and possibly alters the communication. So whatever the conversation is going on with the two people, the invader or the hacker. Will go on alter the communication between the two parties who believe that the recipient will be believing that uh, the it was a original message receiving from the uh, source. Okay, so for example, uh, the best example for uh, man in the middle attack is active eavesdropping. So the eavesdropping is that in which the attacker makes the independent connections with the victims. And they relay the messages between them to make them believe that they are uh, talking directly to each other over a private connection. So when in fact uh, the entire uh, conversation is controlled by the attacker, they didn't even know the recipient or the two persons who uh, won't uh, uh, know that someone is uh, altering the communications and someone is controlling the uh, conversations. They did not know. Okay, so the attacker must be able to intercept all the relevant messages passing between the two victims, and they will inject a new message into the conversation. So this was uh, the happening in the man in the middle attack. So next comes the uh, next threat is uh, denial of service attack. We call this the DOS attack. So in this uh, DOS attack. So the offender to attempt the attempt to make a digital assets unavailable to its uh, expected users in the denial of service attack. 
the thing is that a uh, device attack is uh, always uh, meant to shut down a machine or a network making it inaccessible to the uh, users intended users so who are all using that particular uh, network or machine they will not be able to continue their accessibility so that is called as a device attack so this was mainly uh, uh, achieved by flooding the target mission or target with the uh, traffic so this attack will be providing some uh, so much uh, traffic or uh, we can say that uh, sending uh, information that triggers the crash so finally the outcome will be going to uh, cause a crash on the particular uh, mission yes. so that is the main motive of uh, giving the device attack So in other words, we can say this uh, malicious attack attempts to overwhelm the online service and uh, render it unusable. Okay, and uh, this is also it's a method to prevent the legitimate users access to your target uh, uh, network resources or uh, legitimate uh, uh, or uh, website users. So who are the uh, users of uh, networks or who are the users of websites? they cannot uh, go on uh, access the uh, particular resources so there will be a uh, block in the accessibility of the uh, resources so that this will be done by the device attack so this is also achieved by overloading the target that is web server so web server will be receiving large amount of requests that it could not uh, handle the, those uh, so many requests this we don't do it so by sending a malicious request that cause the target resource to fail or the web server will completely get into a crash so that was the main motive of device attack okay so device attack will make the digital assets inaccessible and it was also done using different ip addresses also okay the next uh, threat is uh, sql inject sorry sql injection attack so before moving on to sql injection attack so i want to say the something more about the device attack that is uh, the first recorded device attack was uh, occurred in the year 2000 february when a 15 year old canadian hacker hit the amazon web server and the ebay web server with this uh, um, device attack okay so this uh, interruption of these network resources usually causes the significant financial losses to the targeted company okay so some of the well known types of device attacks or uh, or uh, there are three attacks uh, one is buffer overflow attack the other one is icmp flood attack the other one is synchronized flood attack so what is about uh, buffer overflow attack is that the most common type of exploit so it is relying on something uh, it relies on sending traffic to a target that exceeds the processing uh, capacity of the developer's uh, uh, system so this type of attack allows the attacker to completely crash the target uh, progress or they will go and uh, control the target's process so that is called as buffer overflow attack it is one of the type of device attack okay the next uh, device attack is icmp flood attack so this will be targeting the devices uh, that misconfigured on the target network forcing the computer or uh, distribute uh, uh, forcing the computer to distribute the false packets so what the what will happen means uh, so in every system false packet will be distributed on the target network instead of a single node instead of uh, passing the uh, packets to a single node uh, all the computers will be distributing the false packet to the target networks so that's uh, it will uh, result in a overloading of the network so this uh, attack can often be called as a ping of death or smurf attack okay. the next uh, attack is uh, as you all know is in uh, synchronous flood attack so that is uh, it sends a connection request to a target 
that is called a uh, tab that will be the web server but never fully authenticates the connection so it will the web server will be getting uh, uh, so many requests okay so it will then continue or send requests uh, to the all remaining open ports on the target web server until it forces the server to crash so it goes to a crash condition okay so next comes the sql injection attack in this attack the intruder can access the data and uh, can easily modify the data also so modifying the sense they can go with adding some new content onto the database or uh, modify the existing uh, content on the database or they can also go for deleting the existing one so all these such kinds of uh, modifications can be done on the database okay so the data can be a personal data or it can be a customer information or employee information or it can be a trade a secrets information intellectual property information or okay okay so in short a sql injection is called as sql i okay the so type of an injection attack that make it possible to execute the Uh, malicious SQL statements, a structured query language that is called uh, SQL. So these uh, SQL statements control the database server uh, behind the web application. Okay. So what does this attacker will do? Can he uh, will use this SQL injection vulnerabilities to bypass the application security measures? Okay. So in other words, uh, we can also. Um, say this attack uh, that uses the malicious sql code for the background uh, database manipulations to access the information that was not intended to be displayed okay so whether the information may include uh, so many number of uh, sensitive company data or users uh, informations or private uh, customer details or it may be passwords credit card details or personal users information so, so all informations will be uh, stealed from the database using this sql injection attack so clearly he, you can uh, uh, see this uh, picture that is uh, sql query means uh, structured query language it's a language used to connect uh, to the database so it's a way to talk to the database application talk to the database that is uh, sql query language okay and if the injection occurs uh, when an application fails to sanitize the untrusted uh, data that is uh, when it fails to realize that is it was an, uh, not the authorized uh, data okay an attacker can use uh, specially uh, sql commands with the help of the sql commands the attacker uh, uh, can go on uh, get the all the details their uh, personal details or uh, customer details or company details all other things they can go on asking the uh, um, database to execute the unexpected commands this is called as a uh, sql injection attack okay so the next uh, threat is cross site scripting so this attack uh, was otherwise called as x yes yes in short we will call it as x yes yes okay so it was a client side code injection uh, attack okay uh, it's a type of uh, so in this uh, attack so the intruders will be sending the malicious code to different users so the users will be embed this code into your uh, trusted site so usually the, this will be used as a client side uh, script that is browser side uh, script so it will make a, a way to access the personal data also okay so it's a uh, this cross site uh, scripting attack is a type of uh, web application security uh, vulnerability that was found in the web application okay so this attack will uh, uh, enable the hackers 
inject the client side scripts so what does this uh, hackers will do means uh, they will go on uh, do some modifications in the client side scripts that will fall into the web pages that will be viewed by the other users okay, that is called as the script side uh, scripting sorry cross site scripting so mostly this uh, attack was done or carried out on the websites okay so this cross site uh, scripting vulnerability may be used by the hackers to bypass the access controls okay so the attackers may mainly aims to execute the scripts in the web browser of the victim by including the malicious code in a legitimate web page or web applications so the actual attack occurs when the victim visits the web page so when does this uh, attack will happen means so whenever the user visit any web page or uh, visit any web page or they are accessing the web application uh that executes the malicious code so the web page or the web application becomes the vehicle to deliver the malicious script to the user's browser okay so a web page or a web application is vulnerable it's very weak to the cross site scripting attack if it uh, uses unsanitized user input in the output that it generates okay so mainly this uh, type of attacks are possible in db script active x uh, flash and even uh, css that is uh, you're using in html codes okay css cascading style sheets so in these uh, uh, scripting codes that is a uh, client side pro codes so this attack will uh, easily uh the hackers will go on uh, uh changing the scripts on this uh, vb script or active x so and so okay so how are they mostly common in javascript codes so because javascript is uh, uh, fundamentally to the most browsing experience also so uh, it is possible to go with the javascript thing also okay the next uh, attack is uh, ransomware so it is a kind of uh, malware attack uh, that restricts the uh, access to the devices or files and it will also displays the pop up messages that demands uh, the payment for the restriction to be removed okay so already we have seen uh, ransomware uh, attack the thing is that it is a type of malware uh, malicious software okay uh, what it will do means it will block the access to a computer system or any data usually by uh, with the help of the encryption letter or okay so it will uh, encrypt the victims uh, systems okay and then the victim pays the uh, fee to the attacker they won't uh, go for decrypting it okay so the thing is that uh, anyone's computer system will be uh, controlled or blocked by this attack so they can go for uh, blackmailing uh, the users uh, computer system so what will the victim will do they will go for uh, paying some amount to the hacker you know to decrypt and uh, get back their uh, all the data that is called as a ransom bear so if the if suppose if the victim doesn't pay the amount in time then the data will be gone forever okay this is called as ransomware attack okay okay the next attack is uh, password attack so password as uh, you all know uh we should make a strong password instead of a weak password okay so passwords are the main gateways to enter into a, any personal accounts so in a secured manner so it should be the it, should, it will be get connected into the uh, our life incident people and places etc okay so password attack means the 
robots, we can say a third party will be trying to gain access to your computer system by cracking the password. That is called this uh, password attack. So the main uh, example, best example for password attack is brute force attack. So what is this uh, brute force attack is that uh, it's a dictionary attack where the attacker works through a dictionary of possible uh, passwords. So they will be having so many passwords with them with the uh, that, is available, that will be available in the dictionary and with those possible passwords they will go on trying with the uh, one by one. Okay, that is uh, dictionary attack or uh, brute force attack. That is the thing is that uh, password attack is that the process of recovering the password from the uh, data that has been stored uh, in or transmitted by a computer system. Okay, so the Brute force attack is the best example for uh, password attack. Okay. So, it's nothing but repeatedly guessing the uh, one's password. Okay. Okay, uh, the password attack, it should be the, the purpose of uh, password uh, cracking means uh, it should help the user to recover the forgotten password. And also to gain the unauthorized access to any computer system or to act as a preventive measures. Okay, that should be the main uh, aim but it, is, it was uh, driven in uh, some other uh, way. So the next threat is Trojan horse attack. So it is also a malware which uh, misleads the user uh, of its true intent. Okay. Uh, that is for example we can uh, when a user is cheated to execute an uh, email attachment uh, there will be, uh, there'll be up, this email will be appearing as the uh, not a suspicious one, suspicious one. If it is a routine uh, form to be filled in, then they will go on clicking on the fake advertisements, some fake adv advertisements on the social media or anywhere else. Okay, so although they, they tell not tell me anything, many modern phones act as a backdoor. Uh, they will contact with the controller which can uh, then have an unauthorized access to the affected computer. So it is uh, the Trojans are considered uh, the most dangerous type of malware as they were uh, designed uh, to steal the financial information. So financial means the bank account details. Okay, like that. So ransomware attacks, you might have heard uh, in the previous slide, we have seen ransomware attacks. So that ransomware attacks are often carried out using this uh, Trojan horse. Okay. Okay. The next uh, attack is driven by a download attack. So from the name itself, we can easily uh, understand that it's uh, so whatever the content you are going for downloading from the net, this attack will be infected by the particular users. Okay. Uh, driven by, uh, drive by download attack is commonly used method to spread the malicious scripts or codes on the user system. Okay. So these scripts will be automatically installed on the system. Whenever, once you are downloading the content, that will be automatically entered into your system. Or it might uh, redirect to your uh, uh, website that is controlled by the attacker. So one way it will be downloaded and it will be installed in your computer system or uh, once you are downloading it will be redacted to the some other site. That is the main uh, um, motive of this uh, attack. Okay, So it will be automatically installed in your computer system and it will uh, uh, the scripts will be spread uh, widely spread into the computer system. Okay, so so far we have seen uh, what are the types of threats. Okay, and uh, next uh, coming to the next slide, there are uh, eight types of cybersecurity attacks and how to prevent them. 
so more or less tests and attacks or uh, we are getting into the same concept uh, repeatedly okay the malware so it's a broad variety of cyber threats like uh, trojan viruses and worms okay so these are the so many kinds of uh, types of malware are listed here okay so phishing activity also we have seen uh, it is uh, it is often a re- request uh, sent via the email and it will ask the user to click on the link particular link so moreover uh, whenever the sender or the sender is unknown to you you don't uh, go on uh, uh, open the particular email or if you are getting a fake link or anything else if the link goes on to a fake uh, website you should not do if you are getting some uh, prices on the it will be saying the user is getting so and so prices and uh, get your uh, to get the price uh, uh so you can kind of fill the so and so forms so that's all uh, like the phase fake one uh, that is uh, in order to get collect uh, collecting the your personal information that should not be encourage or you should be very careful while uh, uh dealing with the emails okay phishing emails have become more scarce in uh, recent years it is uh, make uh, difficult for the user to separate uh, true or which is a true one and which is a fake one okay so that is uh, in the figure you can see the spoofed website spoofed website means uh, it will uh, resemble or it gives the appearance of a real uh, website okay but it's a fake website that is called a phishing attack okay, password attack we have already seen Yeah, the third party will uh, trying to access the uh, system by cracking the password so device attack also have seen okay that is uh, the web server is getting uh, overloaded by uh, keep on uh, receiving the request that is the device attack so finally uh, the ultimate uh, result will be crashing of the uh, systems or uh, networks or our web server so man middle is also already seen so moreover uh, whatever the threats we have seen uh, that all comes in attacks also so what is the difference between threat and attack so threat is the uh, danger possible danger or we can call it as a weakness vulnerability okay that is called as threat and attack means uh, it is an attempt or action of unauthorized uh, that is called as attack so you should uh, clearly make a note of these two differences okay and write by download the so we have seen this was uh, unwanted uh, software um whenever the software is downloaded to the computer uh, uh, it will goes into the this uh, malware or this uh, attack will go get into your system so that it will spread uh, widely and it, it does not require any action to download the specific file so whatever the needed file you are going to download uh, that will not uh, uh, received by the user okay what is uh, mal what is sign what is sign Pricing. Okay, malvertising. Okay, this is uh, uh, malicious advertising. So, used to spread the malware attack or unwanted files to the different uh, sites. Okay, so the file or a code is downloaded to the computer system and click on the affected advertisement. So, whenever uh, you are accessing your uh, uh, internet, you will get some advertisements. okay you should not uh, go on getting to the that so and so advertisement affected at the advertisement it's a kind of attack that is called as malvertising okay so next attack is key logger attack so what is this key logger it's a practice through which uh, the hackers will be using the program to track every 
key stroke is me what is meant by key stroke is me that is uh, whatever the user uh, presses on the keypad or uh, keyboard so all the key strokes what they are uh, pressing all will be monitored by this attacker okay so the hacker can has access to the program and is capable of gaining your uh, credentials that when you make it on your uh, pc so what is the login password you give username we give that all will be uh, stolen by the attacker so key stroke uh, logging is often referred to as key logging or key pad sorry keyboard capturing you can say it like uh, uh, it captures this attacker will capture the keyboard movement okay is a is nothing but the action of recording the keys track on a keyboard so that the person uh, using the keyboard is unaware that their action are being monitored they doesn't know that whatever the keys are pressed by the user will be monitored by the hacker so that uh, they will hack the uh, passwords whatever the passwords they are using for the systems so all will be known by the hacker okay the data can also be retrieved by the persons operating uh, person operating the login program also okay so this was called the key logger attack so we have seen uh, breaches data breaches threats and what are the types of threats and what are the uh, attacks we have seen so how to get protection from the security attack okay so the same thing whatever the initial uh, in the previous day sessions what i have mentioned the same thing should be the security tips to so keep the software and system updated and create the strong passwords and change them you should have a frequently updating your passwords for every account and you should also keep that in mind so that you should not forget always your password okay and install the security software in your computer system you can use mcafee avast or norton antivirus all these Uh, antivirus software can be installed on your uh, system and uh, frequently you can go for updating those uh, antivirus software also and if you are hiring a security consulting services then if you are doing uh, then you can go for dealing with a large uh, organizations okay can also give some awareness uh, uh, awareness training programs for the employees uh, to have uh, to get a wide knowledge about the security cyber security okay okay so these were the uh, references used for preparing the presentations okay uh, thank you for uh, patient listening So, so in today's class, we have seen data breaches, uh, threats, attacks. What are the types of threats and what are the types of attacks we have seen? Okay, uh, by this uh, we have completed our uh, fourth unit, and uh, uh, by the next day we will be continuing with the fifth unit. So that will be uh, protocols and cyber security vulnerabilities. so what are the protocols which we have seen already so in the application layer we have seen what are the protocols uh, used in the applications we have seen okay, http 
So these are all the things. What are the protocols uh, there? TCP, UDP, HTTP, and what are the security various uh, attacks related to those protocols? So that will be uh, will be seen in the fifth unit. So we'll start the fifth unit by tomorrow. Okay. Any other queries? So today I will be posting the so far whatever the uh, content we have uh, gone through, I will be posting all those in your uh, um, Google Classroom. Okay, and uh, also what is the portion for uh, uh, mid assessment? Mid day assessment, I will also uh, post it on the Google Classroom or in the WhatsApp group also, so that you can. Uh, get prepared for the of the third i think so we have given the date or uh, day 11 there is no material posted okay okay, okay madan babu i will be posting by today or whatever the so far materials i have uh, presented in the sessions i'll be posting all the things uh, in google classroom okay so don't worry Day eleven, there is no for ten days. You are having the content. Am I right? So I'll uh, make a check over and uh, whatever the content so far I have taken, I'll be posting the materials to that Google Classroom. Okay. So, for the midway assessment, you have to prepare uh, up to five units, I think so. Okay. I'm not sure uh, six units or five units uh, make uh, clear in this. So, once I have posted the uh, portions and uh, the pattern of uh, how they are going to ask for the assessment, also I'll be posting uh, after the session is over. Okay, you can go through it. Okay, up to 11 days you are having. Okay. Uh, after that, I, what are the things I have taken? I will be posting it. Okay, thank you, students. Thank you. We will wind up the session. Thank you, thank you. So, Manipin sir, uh, we can wind up the session.